Are you a comedian? Are you a comic? Are you a comic actor? Are you a clown? Who are you? Which of those? I would say, if you, you had to generalize, because one could argue that I'm a comedian, or one would say I'm an actor, or one would say I'm a clown. I think if I had to label it with one term, entertainer. Um, but I've at times had to, um, you know, I did a s season of, this, uh, of, of a brilliant series called Damages, in which was there was no clown work there. So that's why I'm saying I think the whole, if you had to put right. label one thing as entertainer. Did you set out as an actor, McMaster, there you are? Cause you I think I... No, I think I wanted to be a singer. I think I wanted to be, when I was a kid, I would, I had a very deep imaginary show business career. I had a, a, an amazing attic bedroom in Hamilton, Ontario. And in that bedroom I had a great reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and I had a great record player. And I had a couple of uh, tape recorders. And how and old I, were you? You were 14, 15, and I would, I had, the Martin Short Show was on NBC, <laughs> every other Tuesday at 8 p.m. NBC wanted me every week, but that didn't leave time for my imaginary film career. So I was that kind of multi-dimensional, uh, and, and this is in, in the 60s, 65, and um, I would, you know, I had an applause record that I'd created from uh, Sinatra the Sands. I'd, on a loop, done the applause at the end of his show, so I had a good sizable applause. And so I would, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Short, and I'd hit the applause, you know, I'm recording it, then I'd turn that off. And then I'd sing an opening song. And this is with no audience. You're up there by no, yourself? No, I'm up there by myself. Home? And I even had a gooseneck lamp that I put up there, because even then I needed lighting. And, um, and, and uh, you know, I would have Tony Bennett on, Sinatra. Were your parents aware of this? Yes. What was interesting... And I would type things up for TV Guide, you know, highlights. Martin sings medley of songs that weren't nominated. But man, if I was a parent looking at that, I'd go, mm, we got a problem upstairs. Well, you know, He's my brother Michael, my, I used to have a rocking chair in my bedroom, and the arm was always broken, so I had a tube of glue. And my brother Michael actually went to my mother and said, I think he's sniffing glue. We can't rule that possibility out. Because kids are playing road hockey, you know, on Witten Road in Hamilton, and I'm in my attic going, weather wise, such a cuckoo day, you know. It was not atypical for a 15-year-old. And um, were you going out with girls? Were you unhappy with your life? Was this putting a section in your life that you didn't? No, I was thrilled with my life. This was the happiest part of up my in the life. attic by yourself. Yeah, well, I wasn't like it wasn't 24 hours a day. I wasn't institutionalized, but it was like in lieu of I don't know stamp collecting or something. I mean, I joined the drama club. I went into acting because yeah. I had acne. I couldn't kiss girls. But if I went into the drama club at high school, I got to act with Glory Ems and I kissed her downstairs. I do not think, you know, through the years, friends of mine uh, have said that I am someone who is the opposite of the classic cliche, you know, the clown who's crying on the inside. They will say he's actually laughing on the inside. So I was not, the, none of what I was doing was making up for anything. Right. It was just, it was fun. What, what was also gratifying, because I would do albums, Martin Short sings of songs and loves ago on 15, tape recorder. And my mother was the concert master of the symphony. She was the first female concert mistress, they used to call it, uh, in North America uh, from 1952 to 62, uh, ha Hamilton Philharmonic. So she would adjudicate whether if I did an album, no one laughed at me. No one said he's crazy. She would, I still have a sheet where she says, yes, well sung, a little pitchy. Um, perhaps not the best. Wait a minute, she wasn't really doing this. You were writing it for her, right? No, no, she was writing it. I have Your her. mother would look at that and go? Well, she was in Judy. She would do Kiwanis. Then she was a violinist. She'd, from eight, she was a child prodigy. She was brilliant. I mean, I would come home. She would practice five hours a day during the season. The Philharmonic season. Did you take up a musical instrument? We all had to play piano for age five on. Oh, Everyone right, had okay. to. Right. And if by 13, 14 you didn't want to do it, then you could quit. But sh you had to have that initial right. musicality. So, so uh, that was one of the reasons that it was never a, a stigma or I was never sneaking around. They, they all knew I had my TV show up there.